Welcome back to the Punk Uncle Show. I'm in Bend, Oregon at Project 321, purveyor of very fine mountain bike hubs. And I'm with Jake, the founder and owner of Project 321. And he's here today, or actually I'm here, to learn how to replace the seals in a rear Project 321 hub. Okay, so Jake, when and why would I want to replace these seals on my rear hub? Well, we, we think it's a good idea to replace the seal and the spring at any time you're doing a hub service. Okay. Um, that could be annually. Some people can get by with a couple of seasons of riding. Um, I like to do it annually. Um, or if the seal's leaking, that means that the seal's damaged or there's something wrong. And at that point in time, you'd want to replace the seal and the spring. So this is our new micro spline driver. Um, we use on our newer drivers an O-ring to hold the seal on. Some of our older drivers actually have a little machine lip uh, and we determined that uh, the, using an O-ring does a little better job of holding the seals in place. And so this is our seal. This is our uh, energizer spring or garter spring for our quiet uh, hubs. And this is our energizer spring. Uh, it's basically an O-ring for our loud hubs. So the first thing I need to do is put the O-ring into this groove down here, correct? That's it, yeah. Okay. Any, um, any special kind technique of, or caution that I need to take? Not really. Just roll it on just kind of like you're doing. It'll find its home in that groove. And the only difficulty with this step is getting it fully in its groove. What we do here is we take a flat wrench. Mm. It looks like you got pretty close there. I got it bubbled out over oh, here. Oh, that's okay. It's yeah, yeah, you're good. Okay. So what we do is just take a flat wrench and just push it into that groove. And lay it, I'd like to lay it flat. Like this? Yep. Okay. There you go. So you'll see it wants to kind mm -hmm. of walk. Yeah. And so try to push it straight in rather than roll it. Okay. Yeah, that's that working way. better. When you build these all day, it's not nearly as, <laughs> as difficult, but uh, the first time you do it or maybe the second or third, it's... I think we might be there. Yep, looks good. Okay. Okay. Now what we're, we're going to do uh, is just set our lit, our uh, seal on top, slide it on over the O-ring. You'll notice that our seal has a little lip on one side, and the other side is flat. And this is uh, it's a fairly fragile seal, so we want to be very careful. We don't want to touch it with any tools. We don't want to touch it with pliers um, or even fingernails. So this seal lip is what's gonna make contact with the drive ring, so that's gonna be up. Okay. So just drop it right over where the, uh, the O-ring that you just put on. Yep. Okay. And, and just use your fingertips only. To push it down? Yep. Okay. And you'll feel it pop over the O-ring. We want, we want to make sure that it's all the way up against that flange all the way around. Yeah. And it looks good. Okay. So now uh, you'll notice that you've compressed it just slightly. Yeah. Um, so what we want to do is we want to get in there and we want to open that up um, so that we can drop our energizer into that groove on the OD the of the seal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can use your fingernail or you can use a small screwdriver. And you just want to open it up. Kind of walk around the driver just like that. And now at this point, um, if you ordered oh, a... I think I was pulling it out of the uh, uh, ring slot there. Groove. There you go. Okay. 
yeah, just enough. Just barely hold on. Okay, I think we got pretty good. So if you have a loud hub, you would have ordered a loud seal kit and it would have come with the O-ring. Now what we do uh, is we pull the O-ring over the flange into that groove and that's, that's it. If you ordered a uh, quiet seal kit, it would have come with a garter spring. And we okay. do the same process to get that energizer into that OD groove on the seal. Okay. So we'll do the quiet. Yeah. Energizer spring. Just pull it right over the flange and it'll fall right into the groove of the seal. Don't be afraid to stretch it a little. Okay. Fingernails are okay on this guy. Right? Oh yeah. There it is. Just walk it around. It'll pull it right over. It's kind of like uh, putting a tire on. Okay. Yep. Very cool. I think it would be a cool idea to just get a look at how the seal and drive ring work together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when this is installed, the seal will actually uh, bump up and make contact with the drive ring um, in this fashion right here. And what you'll notice is that there's a spring using that energizer spring uh, that pushes and holds that seal right up against the drive ring. And this is what keeps that thing in contact when the hub is flexed, uh, which happens more than people think when you're pedaling and also when you're, um, you hit, you make uh, big impacts with your rear wheel. So uh, it's kind of a neat, uh, design and does a great job when everything is properly installed and uh, in good shape. Yep, but it is obviously important to get that O-ring and seal in correctly uh, for this to work the way it's supposed to. So that is how you change the seals on a Project 321 rear hub. Thanks again to Jake for showing us and giving us the info we need. If you need those seals, visit project321.com. If you just need to order a set of the best hubs on the market, go to that same website. Thanks again for watching. Hit subscribe and like. We'll see you on the next one.